Hey guys, what's up? Yeah, so I'm actually on my way to work and you know, apparently you guys like when I talk in this more candid, open, non-scripted type of thing. So, I don't even know what you want. <laughs> Alright, so, being a foreigner in Japan in 2016, um, yeah, it's a lot different, I think, from when I just came in 2014. That's two years ago. Uh, they made a lot of changes to how you can get... Uh, things here since that time so firstly I think when I first came here to get a phone you didn't need to have a credit card Hello. you didn't need to have a credit card to get your phone on a contract once your visa was for two years or more nowadays if you don't have a credit card <laughs> I mean you can't get your phone on the contract unless you're gonna pay upfront the full price of the phone. Apparently, uh, don't quote on that, but actually yes, you can quote me because I think one of my recent coworkers had issues getting a cell phone. Now, why is this? Is it because they don't like foreigners? No, 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 no. That can't be, there must be a reason for it, right? So basically, what is, has been happening is that, from my understanding is that foreigners have been leaving the country before the contract is up, taking the phone, you know, when you leave the country to you close your accounts, there's no credit card to take the rest of the payments that they owe. So the company ends up in a hole and it lost for the for the phone. So for instance, your phone costs, let's say a hundred, let's say a smartphone costs fifty thousand yen. Oh, this angle is not as good. Fifty thousand yen, right? And then you get paid over say six months. In three months you leave, you and you only pay uh, let's say 2,000, 6, 8, 8,500, approximately 8,200 and something, whatever, right? So the company's gonna hold up about 25,000. They'll be like, hey, what the hell is this about? So the next person that comes along, they're gonna be more guarded. They wanna take securities and take precautions so that they can secure their money and ensure that they don't lose. So I think that's why the whole credit card thing has come in. But, I mean, that's not a full foolproof way because you can always stop the payments from your credit card. You can always cancel a credit card and reapply and change. I mean, I used to work in a bank, so I know all the ins and outs. But that's not the point. Right? So, a lot of actions done by foreigners in the past have affected how they are perceived by others and by the Japanese companies and institutes for the ones that will come in the future. Now, we you know a lot of my videos I like to troll and do stuff. Even on my Snapchat, I'm, some people are upset that I embarrass people and whatever. But I don't, I don't care. The thing is, I'm having fun in Japan without trying to insult or you know diss anybody in, in any way. Also, how Japan is set up is that it's set up for their nationals. So it's easy for them to get a car, get a house, get an apartment, get all these basic, not basic, but get these things that help to make your life much easier. For a foreigner, because they don't know how long you will stay and because of the height, <laughs> a lot of people tend to run away from their responsibilities and um, their sort of thing I'm sorry, you need to have a guarantor for your apartment I need to pay this amount of money before which is almost like extortion, highway robbery why am I going to pay a deposit then pay us, let's say three, two months rent in advance plus key money, plus, plus, plus all these exorbitant charges, right? and this only goes for foreigners so, yeah, it's, it's really, it really sucks for us sometimes here uh, apart from the novelty that they love black culture or they love foreigners and they love to speak English and want to learn all these things but apart from that the novelty wears off really fast and you have to be like who I didn't know they cancelled so wait 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 did they cancel autumn Dear, this heat oh I swear so yeah um that's one of the things when we get some cash because I eat it. This is my bad game of J. I tried to get a credit card from them once and it took was a one ring maru. If you don't speak Japanese or can't read kanji, it's pretty much pointless to get a credit card. Oh, okay. Hey. 
See that magnet stand at the bottom? Jody, you don't pay me enough for this. Alright. So I've been in Japan long enough. So this is how I really typically this is my bank setup. So this is withdraw. Enter your pin. Y'all don't see that. <laughs> Y'all don't need that. Oh, there's a Toyo Rock Festival coming up this weekend, guys. You should go check it out in Toyota City by the Toyota Stadium. Don't need no receipts. Y'all will come for me. Uh oh, have a night. Yeah, so I'm done there. I think, yeah. And now I'm going to head to my train station. But yeah, back to the topic I had been foreign in Japan 2016. A foreigner in Japan, right? So there are a lot of things that have hello Genki Kyo Hatara Yasumi Kyo. That's so mean. I say hello to my friends, say hello. One of my friends that I usually hang out with by the the uh train station. Oh god, I'm dropping cash. Yeah, coins in Japan are pretty valuable. Up to five bucks, so you can't oh sorry. Am I talking like an American? Up to 500 yen. <laughs> that dog is say, hey, look at that guy. Get him. But yeah, um, yeah, uh, I don't think there's really much major issues being a foreigner in Japan. Well, what I mean by that is like, there are issues, but there's nothing that's going to kill you, right? <laughs> there's nothing that's going to really put you in harm's way. For some people, they might feel a bit left out of certain things because they can't speak Japanese or whatever. But I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I have no issues making re like friends here, like real friends, not the ones that just oh I speak English. It's my English speaking friend. No, like friends that check for you and really are concerned about your well-being and that sort of thing. But most of the friends that I make are much older persons. Persons who have businesses or who have their own businesses or are bosses or managers or just have lots of money because you know they live a different type of life than the Japanese salaryman. I don't tend to find a lot of persons my age. I don't know why. But yeah, maybe the places I hang out. But yeah. Um you know the usual stuff people always talk about, you know, going on a train, people won't sit beside you. I mean, I find that as an advantage because there's more space for me. I'm a big guy, so I don't mind that. <laughs> um, what else? What else? What has changed? Uh, I guess the more that they have seen a lot, I think, especially in the Naka, because that's where I am, the Naka, where I am, um, there's a uh, People have become much more receptive to foreigners, I think. And maybe it's the fact that my Japanese has improved and I'm able to communicate that persons don't feel as afraid to speak to me. I think that helps as well. Being able to communicate is very important, you know? Uh, I also think that as a foreigner, there's so many taxes here. Like, there's so many things that you have to pay and especially the health insurance it goes up every year and that's really uh, and the fact that you have to pay health insurance every year really sucks and it increases all the time uh, so yeah it's really but it's, it starts like a 2,000 yen and then based on your salary it goes up so last year it was 10 this year is 16 and I previous next is going to be 24. Hey, how are you, Genki? Nanji, Sashiwi. Sashiwi, Sanja. Sanja? She got it. Sanja, I don't know. Sanja. Almost, okay, yeah. She's my friend. 
she's a boss. She speaks very good English, like real, like native level English. Not chat. Okay, what you me? Hi. Who's this guy? How you doing, bro? You good? Did my friend Shu, Shu say hello. Hi. Hi. Do you like foreigners in Japan? No. Stupid guy. Right? Yeah, he was. He was in California. He's a chef. Chef is. Mm, so yeah. Big up Shu. Big up about Shu. Anyway, guys, I'm tired. Why would I ask just stupid question like, do you like foreigners in Japan? Of course, I'm going to say yes. But he's he's cool though. Doesn't matter. Yeah, but um, yeah, guys. Uh, I don't know. What has your experience been as a foreigner here in Japan this year? Um, do you think anything has changed since the past time since you've been here? Like for those who've been here for over a year. Mm, I don't know. Maybe I've become desensitized to certain things. I'm not like paying attention to things that um that would have affected me the first time I came here. Like, <laughs> like seriously, like sometimes I look back at it. There's certain things that I do in Japan that I would never do back home. You know, are certain things that I would allow here because I guess it's part of their culture. And I would definitely be really upset and mad about it if it happened to me in Jamaica. You know, and yeah, I think I'm. Alright, so uh, I think I'll talk to you guys about that in another video. How I think Japan has changed me. And yeah, oof, my hair all a mess. How Japan has changed me. And I probably have a guest next time. Alright, so as usual, leave your comments down below what you think. If you want me to talk about anything, if you like these walk and talk videos, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. Go to 5,000 by December. 5,000 subscribers by December. Let's go! Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot. I wanted to talk about this. Yeah, you notice that there are no videos telling Japanese people, or I'm not aware of videos, telling Japanese people how to like, behave around foreigners. And, you know, we have a culture too. We are people too. We have our own like nuances and our idiosyncrasies as well. And not, not the stereotypical type of stuff, but things that really um, might aid in smoothing over the awkwardness and the feeling of isolation and everything there. I don't know, like, why we don't have those videos? Plus, I guess people's Japanese is not good enough or we're just lazy. Everybody making the same type of videos all the time. And if you try to be a bit different, if it's not as clean and popular, then you're not going to get me, I don't know, me. It's whatever, man. Going down into the darkness of the pit. Early mom will dip semi yame looking fit. Semi na pa fit a gala semi mama. Get us stay by your side. Yeah, I don't know why I was singing that song. I love that song. But yo, the dear Yamakasi, don't sleep on this convenient. It's convenient lit.